Hello and welcome to The Big Fight, where today's program is about the big fight that wasn't. We were expecting a real scrap when the Indian team went to Australia. It didn't quite happen. It's been a really, really embarrassing period, a lot like the English summer as well. That was another big fight that didn't turn out to be much of a fight. So what exactly has gone wrong? Let's remember it was less than a year ago that we were celebrating the World Cup win. How have the wheels fallen off? And the culprits who are being blamed for all of this, is it fair to be blaming them? Is it time to ask some of the seniors to step down or is that being really, really crass given all that they've done for Indian cricket? Those are some of the subjects that we are going to be discussing this evening on The Big Fight. And joining us to take us through all of this gives me great pleasure to welcome Niranjan Shah, the Vice President of the BCCI. Thank you so much, sir. Pleasure to have you uh, with us. We also have with us Dean Jones joining us from Melbourne. From London, we are being joined by Asir Iqbal, former captain, of course, of the Pakistan cricket team. With us right here in the studio, Nain Mongia, former Indian cricketer. Great to have you with us. Thank Kishore you. Bimani, one of our best-known cricket commentators. Always a pleasure. Latika Khaneja, managing partner of Kalash Sports Management, who's been dealing very closely with many of the cricketers in the recent past. And V. Krishna Swami, one of our top uh, sports journalists, who's been here dissecting in previous brick fights also the slide of the Indian cricket team since the World Cup ended. And we'll be finding out just what happened. But can I just start with you, Mr. Mr. Niranjan Shah. The, the, you and the BCCI must be seeing what's happening in Australia. And you must be almost bemused as to the lack of fight. Yes, yes. I was there in the first test. We were started. Our, our beginning was good. But suddenly, what has happened, we don't know. It is just like a repetition of England. And I think uh, there is nothing wrong. What has happened even BCCI is in also, all selector must be all dull drum. So what is happening? And I feel now the fourth test match is coming. We must fight it out and at least go for draw. You know, hope springs eternal, sir, and fight it out and go for a draw. Considering we were planning this to be the first series India is going to win in Australia, that's a... That's not the most ambitious of hopes, but I mean, I guess you're right. I think you're bemused. You're sounding bemused as to what's happened. Uh, Dean, Dean Jones, uh, there in Melbourne and in Australia, is there a sense of bemusement as to what exactly has happened to the Indian cricket team? Yes, hello, Vikram. Hello, everyone. Look, it is a, a bit of an upsetting situation. We expected a bit more of a fight. We, we wanted a look at the great Dravid and Sawag and Sachin to pile on the runs, and sadly... Uh, for the Australian fans, we haven't seen much of it. But I tell you what, we were going, we went through this like you guys did only just a year ago, and we had to make some serious, serious decisions on where our players are going for the future, on the governance of our country, on the way uh, cricket's governed right throughout Australia, and we've made some hard decisions. And finally, some of the fruit is starting to bear. So, if you could just take us through what were the hard decisions that you went through, maybe maybe that sets the agenda for what. India needs to do right now. I mean, you didn't get rid of some of your legends like Hasi or Ponting. That didn't happen. Uh, and that's what one of the major cries in India is right now. Perhaps unfailing. Well, number, number one, we had the Argus report. And the Argus report was to find a high performance. We, we, we selected a high performance uh, manager. Uh, we made sure we got proper bowling and batting coaches. And we seeked and looked, look, made sure we looked after our fast bowlers. That's the key. If you get three, four bowlers bowling over 145 kilometres per hour, you will rule the world. And that's the absolute fact. You can have the best spinner in the world. Sri Lanka had that and they never were number one. Secondly, we've also had the Crawford Report. And now the Crawford Report is about the governance of how Australian cricket is governed by its commissioners. Now, that is about to change soon, uh, very soon. A new implementation will be put in where we have independent people who will run cricket here in Australia. We have to be honest in our assessments on the ground. We've been honest in our assessments off it. And sometimes it can be hard because you can hurt some very good people along the way. But ultimately, we've made some tough decisions. We've found some fast bowlers and we're good to go. You know, actually, I have to say that I thought India had also found some fast bowlers. There were supposed to be three bowlers in this particular team who could bowl at a more, more than 140, and there, there, there still are. But uh, for some reason, you know, it doesn't quite seem to be working. Uh, Niranjan Shah, the lessons that Australia drew from all of this, is the BCCI going to be drawing some tough lessons from this? Or at the end of the day, are we going to say, look, there are a whole bunch of matches in India right now. We're probably going to be clobbering most of these teams when they come back. Uh, when they come to India and then we'll be all quite happy. 
No, no, no. We, we, we have to look at it and how we can improve our techniques with the new, bet, uh, new crop of uh, players. And I think uh, even in the last days, we must use all the people who are sitting there for one month should be tried out. So at least we know how the things are. And also we are looking more or less on our wickets. We are looking more on our fast bowlers. And let's see, we have to, and BCCI will look into it. And because we want to be number one all the time. In, uh, and once we have seen number one position, how we feel so great. So same great, great feeling we want again. Right, but can I can I just say, you know, the, you have found some new ball bowlers whom we thought were going to make a major difference. So far, it doesn't seem to be having any effect. Yeah, I know and, uh, when the, I was there in the first days, but what is happening, our bowler could not uh, complete the job. They got six wicket very early, but afterwards they could not finish it. Where Australian balls are really, they have balled nicely in the whole series and it is... These, these three fast bowlers who has put us, India, in a lot of trouble. I think we have to learn from them. All right. Uh, uh, let me just come to all my panelists out here before I come back to Dean Jones. Nine, what are the lessons you A, why has this happened? I mean, it's a, it's a bit unusual that a team will win the World Cup and then suddenly lose seven mat test matches on the trot, and that with arguably one of the best batting lineups in all of history. I think before the series started, Vikram, I think we knew that it's going to be Australian bowlers versus Indian batting lineup. And I always believe that captain or the coach is as good as the team. You know, the team was performing consistently well over a period of time. The batsman was putting runs on the board. So it becomes more easier for a bowlers to defend or to pick up 20 wickets or put a pressure to the opposition. But here, we were outclassing all the three departments. You take it bowling, batting or fielding. I think uh, we should give credit to Australian bowlers how they created pressure and put the pressure consistently to Indian batsmen. And plus, the opening stand. You know, whenever we have got an opening stand in the past, we have done well. In this series, in the four, first three test matches, we haven't got the start. We have exposed the middle order with the new ball. That and the moment, you, the moment well. you get the, the middle order you know, with the new ball, it's always going to be a difficult situation. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.